Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. We are a bit behind. Uh, I want to apologize for that, but we just have been having so much uh, crazy work nonstop. Anyways, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Pisces. We are in Pisces season. So for those of you guys that are Pisces, happy birthday. Or those that are going to be um, having a birthday, I wish you guys the very best. All right, my lovelies, we're going to start off with the seashells, then we're going to get into the tarot, then we're going to get into the oracle. Uh, wanted to go a little bit more insight, see exactly what's unfolding for you guys for this month of March 2021. If you guys like these videos, definitely comment and like, let me know so that we can continue doing this, okay? All right, my lovelies, how are you doing, Pisces? I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you're getting ready for your birthday. Exciting, exciting. Let's see. Okay. Pisces, I see you guys uh, really walking towards a lot of new beginnings. For a lot of you guys, this could be uh, getting whims or ideas in regards to starting a new business. For some of you guys becoming entrepreneurs, um, it may st start off as something on the side or something that you just enjoy doing, not necessarily with the intent of making money off of it, um, but it starts to go rather well uh, and you can actually turn it into a business. Um, what they're telling you is pay attention to your intuition. I feel that you guys have been experiencing this probably the past two, three weeks, um, where intuitively you're picking up on a lot of information. This is download that's coming from spirit. So again, if you feel something is off in regards to finances, in regards to business, in regards to relationships, pay attention to that because what they're saying here is they are trying to communicate. I see you guys at crossroads right now. Uh, so any changes or any new beginnings that you start in this month of March are going to greatly impact you for the next six months. So again, um, if you're starting off any new projects, any new uh, endeavors, uh, make sure that you're jumping into it wholeheartedly, that you're really putting your intent and you're really putting your effort towards it. Do not half-ass anything for this month of March, Pisces, especially if you're wanting to really... Uh, experience momentum when it comes to your growth especially in your finances for some of you guys also be careful as i do see pregnancy um from the month of march they're telling me all the way till the month of may you guys may be experiencing being extremely fertile for those of you guys that have had difficulties with that now is the time to start trying as i do see the opportunity uh for pregnancy or the opportunity to uh, manifest a pregnancy here um Try the best you can to take care of your health, Pisces. Um, I want to say anything that has to do with your back or with your legs, um, that's if you're not already experiencing a bit of discomfort there. Uh, I would really check that out just so it doesn't progress into anything uh, that may be a little bit more damaging. However, they're saying um, just for precaution, okay? So don't freak out here. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what is coming for you guys for this month of March 2021. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What may changes, opportunities, or what is unfolding for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of March 2021. These are huge ass cards, you guys, as you can see. And I have pretty long hands. <laughs> but they are huge. I love them though. I have a very strong connection with them. Okay. Let's get right into your reading. Okay, so right at the bottom, we have the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is again, an entrepreneur. This is the energy of going towards your goals, going towards the dreams or aspirations. This is taking a new journey, a new beginning, um, new endeavors, new beginnings, like I said, when it comes to your finances. So again, I see you guys being extremely fertile for the month of March and April, not just um, fertile in the sense of birthing pregnancy or birthing a child, but birthing new ideas. So pay attention to that because they're really, spirit is really trying to guide you to find 
your financial stability. So pay very close attention to that, Pisces. All right, your next card here is the King of Pentacles. Again, I see you guys on this journey. I feel that for the month of March and April, you guys are going to be very bountiful. There's going to be a lot of opportunities that come to you guys in regards to finances, in regards to making money, in regards to how you make money. And I don't see it as uh, as an example of you guys have a nine to five job or something like that. I don't see it coming from that. What they're telling you here is that you have the power to manifest or to create your own stability. So if you're getting this gut feeling like you want to start your own business, like you want to go out there and do something uh, that you're either talented at or that you're gifted at, definitely pursue that Pisces. That's going to be very important. Um, again, the four of pentacles could be very um, feeling a bit restricted, but this also speaks about uh, when we kind of start to grow especially with the king of pentacles when we start to grow financially what they're telling you here is be smart about your finances okay be smart in the sense of yes more money is going to be coming in but make sure that you don't amp your expenses just because you can do you see what i'm saying pisces what they're saying here is be methodical in the way you uh either spend money or invest money now your next card here is the hermit i do see you guys i want to say uh from the beginning of March, from now all the way to, I want to say the third week of March, you guys are going to be either, I don't want to say like being antisocial, but you guys are going to feel like you're wanting to pull your energy back, perhaps not being around a lot of people, um, not not giving your energy just to any one or any group of people. I see you guys more focused, more determined. And Again, I want to make this message very clear. What Spirit is telling you is if you've been wanting to manifest some type of financial stability or growth, now is the time to do so. Do not half-ass anything, Pisces. It's going to be very important for the success that you will be able to achieve moving forward. So again, the Hermit does speak about pulling our energy back. Uh, this is about not wanting to be bothered because it's looking towards beholding or having or attaining with the king of pentacles, the financial freedom or financial stability you're looking for. Absolutely beautiful, Pisces. You have the world card here. So for some of you guys, it could represent that you're going to be going into this cycle where there is a completion of something. For some of you guys, finishing school. For others of you, finishing a project. For others of you, uh, getting to the point of understanding that there's more potential behind what you do or behind your purpose. And you, you're, call, you're being called towards that. And that's going to be not only uh, soul fulfilling, but this is also going to bring to you guys a lot of abundance, a lot of opportunity, okay? So again, like I said, listen to your intuition. Now let's see what Spirit's message has here for you. What is the direct message from Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What opportunities, challenges, or obstacles they may be dealing for the month of March 2021? Yeah, I see you guys shining, Pisces. I definitely see you guys very motivated, um, very money-oriented, um, which is rare. Uh, Pisces um, usually has a... Not to say that you guys are not um, hard workers, but I do see that there is more Piscean er energy usually has more of not to focus so much on finances as the importance of uh, emotional stability. Um, and I definitely see this as a very re-energized energy. This is very empowering type of energy. So again, uh, chase your dreams, Pisces. Okay. So the message you have here is the tower. So this is talking about isolation. I feel that for a lot of you guys, there's going to be almost like a distinct type of energy where there is a need for you to pull back your energy. Um, you guys do have a tendency of being like very social or, or having a, a, a bit of a group of friends. And what they're telling you is important for you to um, be practical in the approach of who you give your attention or energy to. The tower usually indicates some type of loss if we don't pay attention to what we're doing or towards the path that we're walking. So again, you don't want to miss these opportunities here uh, because you're either, you know, distracted or allowing other people to distract you. 
Uh, I see this more as the message coming through that there is a need to reserve your energy. There is a need uh, to create some type of uh, boundary, some type of um, even getting to the point of a bit of isolation only because this is going to keep your energy focused. This is going to keep you motivated. This is going to keep you from being distracted, from being able to manifest the potential you have here, Pisces. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment if you did, and we will continue to do these readings. I wish you guys the very best. Love you guys, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.